Nick, if you have a question on the call, please raise your hand. Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. I'm not driving. Okay. Um, first about myself, um, like, I'm not unhappy, but I know I can do better. Um, like, I haven't had a preseason, so uh, I just had to, like, go in it straight away. Um, so I'm feeling good. Uh, my body feels better and better. Um, I'm getting to know my teammates. But uh, I still think I can do uh, I can do better for the team, and um, but but I try to grow every game. And about um, like the team mentality, um, I think it's it's uh, it's getting better. Uh, it was a hard period for the team. Uh, we had some good games. Uh, we won two times. We draw two times. Uh, I felt like the the environment was was changing. Uh, like the players were more happy during training, um, t talking much more to each other to to help each other. Uh, you feel like we were more connecting. Um, I think we showed it also the first 20 minutes against uh, against New York, but then uh, like we conceded a goal and you you saw it floating away from us. Um, so I think uh, we are still very vulnerable as a team. Uh, we have to stick together because eventually in the second half we were running everywhere. We we didn't uh, keep our shape. And, and that cannot happen. So uh, we talked about it, and it's just developing the team, and tomorrow we just need a result again. But I think the mentality is, is getting better and better. Um, you hear a lot of people talking to each other. I think that's a good thing, uh, busy with how to play, how to stand, how to help each other. I think we can do that more, much more, but it's, I hope it's getting there. Next question, Franco. Fine, thank you. Yeah, very, very important games ahead. Um, uh, like every game is tough for us. We don't have like even like the top teams, the lower teams. We still uh, we ourselves are low, uh, low on the on the league. Um, like I think for us it's important to see game by game. So now we're focusing on tomorrow, the game against Chicago, um, and don't get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we try to focus on each game uh, because they're coming fast after each other. So uh, I think it's very important for us to f to focus on the game tomorrow, to be ready for the game, to give everything. And we need all players in the squad to be ready to come in, to help us, to bring energy. And I think we really have to do it as a team. So we're being prepared for tomorrow. And after that, we see what comes next. We'll go back to Franco.
Yeah, th that's that's the hard part. So it looks very simple, like we just have to stick together as a team. But even I'm on the pitch and you, you see it coming, like uh, you feel it coming. Like after we concede the goal, you felt like we're, get, we're getting more sloppy. We try to force things. We're running out of our position and it got worse and worse. The second half, like they had a good team, New York, so they, they could handle us very well doing like we, we were running everywhere and they just outplayed us. Um, so uh, we talked about it. Uh, I think it's good. We talk a lot with each other, like how we feel, how you feel in the game uh, to see it back on, on video, because the feeling you have in the game is most of the time different than if you, you see it back in the video. Um, but I think the most important is don't lose our heads because we have like a great mentality. We have a lot of guys who really want to win, want to show. And that's also a bit the problem. Like we, we, we have to be patient, even if we're 2-0 behind. We kind of fix it in like five minutes. We, we, we can do it over the, the whole second half. And you feel like people want it so bad that they, we don't do it as a team anymore. Everybody just want to give like 200%. And even though it's with the right um, mindset, it's not always the right way. So I think uh, we talked about it. And it also takes time to, to, <laughs> to get that in the team to know. And it, it's also about confidence, like trust each other. We will get the result even if we're 1-0 behind, even if we maybe 2-0 behind. Like, keep our own game, keep playing the way we need to play, uh, do your own task, help each other, and then you cannot blame. Uh, if you lose, okay, it happens, but you can cannot lose the way we did. I think the second half, we, it was not good. Go to the last question, Michelle. Um, honestly, uh, normally I get the, the clips sent to me uh, about Chicago. Um, I think it's in my phone at the moment. Um, I still have to watch it. Uh, they, I've only heard like they, they have big guys up front. They play very direct. Um, a lot of crosses in the box, a lot of shooting. Um, what you said, they had a lot of shots on, on target. Um, so what I can expect is like, I don't know, because they, they, they had a tough game. They have to play in the heat here if they're gonna press straight away, but we'll see about that. Um, but I think it's, it's more important for us that we um, like, we have to play our own game. It's like the most important to us is like we have to create like our own game, like our way of playing, our style. And then it doesn't matter against who you play. We have to trust in our qualities, our skills. And then the opponent has to adjust to us. So I think that's that's the most important, but you need confidence for that. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow night.